Alberta offers many different fishing experiences. With over 20 species of game fish inhabiting our waters, you never know what might bite the end of your line. Regulations for catch and size limits are in place to conserve at-risk fish populations, like Alberta's native trout species. Knowing how to identify fish is an essential skill to have as an angler. To ensure you are following provincial sport fishing regulations, Identifying a fish is as simple as looking for three key characteristics. Remember that all of these can be observed while keeping your fish in the water. First, fins. Look at the location, shape, coloration, and markings of the fins. Only trout and char species have an adipose fin, an extra fin on the back between the dorsal fin and the tail. Next, body spots. Look at the size, distribution, and color of spots on the back and sides. Trout have dark spots and char have light spots. Finally, the jaw. Look at the mouth shape and any markings around the jaw. There can be a lot of variation within a species depending on the fish's diet and the time of year. There is also variation between species. Bull trout and brook trout are easily confused. They are both char species with white leading edges on the pectoral and pelvic fins. Bull trout have white spots on the body and do not have any black markings on the dorsal fin. No black, put it back, is an easy way to avoid harvesting a bull trout by mistake. West Slope Cutthroat Trout and Rainbow Trout are true trout with black spots on the body and dorsal fin. West Slope Cutthroat Trout and Rainbow Trout are often confused for one another. West Slope Cutthroat Trout are named for a characteristic red slash marking under the jaw which differentiates them from their closely related rainbow trout. Rainbow trout may or may not feature a red stripe down the side of the body, but they typically have even spotting patterns along the back. West Slope cutthroat trout spotting patterns are sparse towards the head. Athabasca rainbow trout and non-native rainbow trout have similar features. However, Athabasca rainbow trout are only found within the upper Athabasca River and its tributaries. If you catch a rainbow trout here, it's best to release it. Fish identification takes practice, so remember, if you don't know, let it go. By releasing unknown species, you will be doing your part to reduce the accidental harvest of native trout species. Thank you for helping maintain Alberta's fisheries for generations to come. To learn more, visit mywildalberta.ca.